we as social marketers can be proud because now is our hour. For me, social marketing's great achievement has been to embed two vital principles in the process of human betterment, the, the, the process by which we make society better. First of all, the meaningful change has to involve ordinary people. They have to be engaged in the process of development. This is democratic, it's progressive, and above all, it's powerful. At the same time, however, it's vital to address the system to ensure that this supports popular empowerment. It's very difficult, for example, to engage in meaningful social change if you're living with poverty or prejudice. Teen smoking exemplifies the benefits of this approach to me. In the UK, we have worked very hard with teenagers to help them to see the dangers of tobacco and they, they, to, to reject a life of addiction and ill health. At the same time, we've addressed tobacco marketing. And indeed, young people have been a vital player in encouraging government to take action to get rid of tobacco marketing. The result is that we've now arrived at a place where young people in the UK can barely name a tobacco brand and their smoking has dropped off a cliff. So for me then, the great achievements of social marketing, embedding grassroots empowerment and combining that with collective action, and this is the enlightened way to bring about social change. If I think about the present and, and social marketing's position at, at, at the moment, I think the climate and planetary crisis has to be front and centre of everything we talk about and consider. It's three decades since the IPCC first warned us that we have a, a, a catastrophe unfolding. In response, we have doubled our CO2 emissions. It's a decade since Steve Emmett, the climate scientist, warned us we need to consume less stuff, a lot less. In response, we've embraced Amazon and 24 seven consumption. This insanity is all down to marketing and to human behavior, both of which we understand full well. We as social marketers can be proud because now is our hour. If I consider the future, then for me, the crucial point that we have to embrace is that change is inevitable. We often talk of our lives as being unsustainable, and it's worth remembering that unsustainable means, first of all, indefensible, and secondly, that it cannot continue. So we will have change very, very quickly and very soon. We nearly got this message with COVID. If you remember at the outset, when government took robust action, there were real signs of hope. You remember the Venetian canals turning blue after being black for generations? You remember people hearing birdsong for the first time in Paris for many, many years. Latterly, we have reverted to type and concentrated on cure rather than prevention concentrated on the idea of getting back to business as normal, when clearly it's business as normal that got us into this mess. Next time, however, or the time after, humankind will not bluff it. We will finally learn the lesson of unsustainability. And when that happens, we social marketers must be ready to help, to fashion a post-materialist world, a world where we seek not after just more stuff, but as Dante advised, after wisdom and virtue. And we will be ready. We will be ready because the planet needs us to be ready.